Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. Today in another edition of our series Spark Interview Questions, we'll discuss what are accumulators in Spark. It's a very important concept in Spark. Let's see what are accumulators. Before we actually jump on to what are accumulators or what is accumulator, let's see why do we need accumulators. Uh, before that, let's look at how Spark works or operates. Normally, when a function passes to any of the Spark operations like map or reduce or filter, it is executed on any of the available uh, node in the cluster. And each of these functions or operations work on with their own separate copy of variables. The reason is simple because we are processing everything in parallel. We don't want to have any kind of shared variable uh, so that there should not be any dirty reads or write. Uh, if in case there would be any shared variable, we'll have to make sure how we synchronize the access to that particular resource or to that variable. And that would be a bad design where we are trying to process the data in a massive, massively parallel uh, programming paradigm, which is Spark. Uh, and at the same time, these variables which are used by all these different operations while parallel execution, they never share their, sta their state back to the driver. So they are like individual to that particular executor, which is a unit of parallel execution in Spark. And uh, other threads and other executors are not aware about uh, those particular uh, variables and their current values. Now, but another design thinking is even if we try to add a support for read and write uh, shared variable, you know there would be a big problem how we will synchronize the access to that particular resource, how we, will, how we will make sure that the reads and write are always up to date. That's not possible. And if even if we case, uh, you know, try to put a design on top of that so that uh, in a way that we try to synchronize that particular variable, I mean that will create a bottleneck for parallel processing. However, this argument is absolutely uh, correct from the design thinking perspective. But at the same time, uh, many a times there may be a need that a particular variable needs to be shared across, M needs to be shared across different tasks, you know, between the task and the driver program and say between different work agents and executors. This is where accumulators have come into the picture. And this is a use case where accumulators would be used. Spark has given a facilitation of two shared variables. Uh, one of those is accumulator and another one is a broadcast variable. We'll talk about broadcast in the next video. This, in this video, we'll talk about accumulators. So how uh, you know accumulators are shared across the different nodes in the cluster? Every time uh, you know a, a driver program is initiated, it sends tasks or your programs, logical programs to different uh, executors or say different nodes in the cluster to be applied on the data, partition data sitting on diff on those different nodes. In this, at the same time, accumulators are also sent across and e a copy of all these accumulators, accumulator variables sits on all the nodes and they can aggregate or collect the data with different operations like you can add like add like a counter addition or summation etc so uh, just to understand that how these accumulator variables are shared across different executors uh, just want to reiterate that whenever a driver program uh, kick start the execution of tasks on different nodes at the same time, these variables are also sent to the different nodes and individual copy of these variables sit in the, in the different nodes on the cluster. And then the different operations can be applied on top of that. Right. So you understand, you know, why uh, accumulators have come into the picture in the Spark scenario. Now, guys, let us see what is accumulator exactly. So accumulators are the shared variables provided by the Spark uh, world used for aggregating information across the executors. So the whole idea of having accumulators is that these are the shared variables which can, you know, talk across executors, across tasks and aggregate and gather or collect some information, you know, 
but there is one specific uh, characteristics to the accumulators which is that these variables are only add to kind of supports add to kind of parentage uh, when we say add to they can only be increased like a counter or can be added up for a summation and they need to follow uh, they need to they can be applied to any operations which are commutative or associative uh, for instance uh, you can uh, have sum or max which both follow the commutative and the associative uh, you know uh, properties commutative means like if you are applying some operation on say x and y variables if you apply the same operation on y and x the result would be same for example addition 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 similarly associative means if you are applying a uh, function on three variables x y z it doesn't matter in which order you apply the function again addition makes a uh, perfect case for this like 2 plus 3 plus 4 uh, even if you add 3 plus 4 before 2 the results will remain same so these are the true properties uh, an operation should have where accumulators can be applied Right. The example is sum and max functions. However, average doesn't. Uh, the uh, average is an operation which is not associative in nature, and accumulators cannot be applied on top of that. Right. So, guys, let's quickly reiterate once again what is accumulator. As we discussed, uh, why the concept has come to the picture, so that we can have some kind of shared variable, you know, talking across different executors and tasks which are which are uh, running in parallel and for this accumulators have come into the picture accumulators uh, specifically have got a flavor that they can only support add to kind of parentage and when, when we say add to it means the operations uh, which we can apply on uh, which, which which can be applied with accumulators should be should follow two properties commutative and associative and uh, one of the fine example of uh, an operation which works well with accumulators is uh, summation or max functions. Guys, let's see what are some of the key features of accumulators. You know, um, Spark has provided the support for accumulators. Natively, it has given a support for numeric types, like you can have some kind of counters, or you can add the counters, or you can add, you know, uh, the line of different tasks running across and stuff like that but they've also given an interface where programmer can add support for uh, newer types based on their requirements so you can pro programmatically add newer accumulators and accumulators of newer types based on your needs uh, one important aspect of accumulator is they can be displayed on top of the spark ui provided you create an accumulator with the name and then it can be displayed along with its value uh, if you create a named accumulator, it makes uh, uh, it makes things more easier so that you can track it on the Spark UI and can get uh, the useful understanding about the progress of different uh, tasks running in par parallel. Uh, in Spark, to create an accumulator, you will have to call Spark Context Accumulator with the initial value V. And then you can apply any operation on top of that, like addition or max. Um, one important aspect about uh, accumulators value is, is that all the programs uh, or say all the executors and tasks which are say uh, running on cl cluster, they cannot read accumulators. They can only add to it. Uh, only the driver program can read the accumulators and use it value method, which will be populated on top of your Spark UI. So guys, uh, these are some of the key features of accumulator. First and foremost, uh, natively Spark only supports the numeric type of accumulators. Though there is a uh, facilitation where programmer can add uh, accumulators of their own type. It's, it's um, advisable to create accumulators with name so that you can track it on Spark UI and get an understanding uh, about the progress of running stages. Spark contest dot accumulator is, is the is the way to create accumulators. Uh, uh, this is how uh, accumulator looks on Spark UI. You will see an accumulators under it. You will see the name. Say on the in this uh, 
image you see there is an accumulator uh, named counter and you can see the value of it alongside with it in the task you can see what is the state of the counter across different executors so this is pretty helpful in terms of uh, tracking the uh, state of the different task so guys that's it in this series for uh, accumulators have a good day bye bye